Now, I think I find myself saying this like once a week at this stage, but is this the best evolution we've seen so far? I mean, <laughs> it's got to be close. For cheap and fast FC24 Ultimate Team Coins, head over to MMOEXP.com, link down below, and make sure to use my code Morsi at checkout to get yourself 5% off. Introducing 93 rated Luca Ranieri. He's in the building and looks absolutely stacked. Now, this grind took me the better half of four hours. So I would really appreciate if we could smash this like goal of the video today. I want to go ambitious as well. It's a new year. Can we hit 40 likes in the first two hours? I know you got it in a bag, so let's see what you can do. But a big boy is a conference league team of the tournament card. So 85 rated is his default card. You need to do two evolutions. So then brand new crossing crusader into Pep's legacy. So 75k is how much you got to spend on the Evos, and 90k is how much I sniped the card for. So put it together, 165,000 coins for this absolute beast on paper. Let's see if he plays up to that price tag. So it's not cheap, but the card looks bonkers. Four star, five star, six foot two, could play as a left back. So there's a nice bit of our versatility there. We've got the pace, even the pace split isn't crazy. The dribbling, the 98 reactions, 95 balance. The link up play with the cross and the short pass, the long pass, the curve, defensively really solid, aggression super high as well, strength looking solid, jumping, stamina, and the play styles. We've got incisive pass, play style plus, ping pass, tick attacker, whip pass, intercept, block, jockey, and first touch. It is a super unique looking uh, evolution here and center back. That's what I'm going to play him to start with. We might give him a go as a CDM and a left back. And there's also Alaba, who's his competition here. I've used the 93 Pep's Legacy Alaba. I've reviewed that on my channel, so I'll compare the two in this gameplay. In regards to chem style, maybe an anchor, but I think what I'm going to do is give him a shadow because I really want to super juice that acceleration. Do I have one on this account or are we go into the market? Or are we go into the market? Shadow chem style's being put on, then it's gameplay time. All right, let's have it then. Game number one of the boy, Ranieri. Pelin's that left side is center back for now. As I said, I will mix it up and kind of change positions. But dribbling super high on the card. And he's a big, average, maybe an average and stocky body type. I'm not too sure. But he looks like a big unit. So the fact that he can move on the ball, I'm a fan of. He's overlapping support in the play. You know what? Let's give it to him. Big touch inside here. Through ball on the cards. Oh, my days. What a pass. Fall in with the effort. Okay, we got a playmaking centre back on our hands. My man's paused it in nil-nil. Don't you dare be quitting. Oh, is he going to go over the top? I think he might be. He is, but Ranieri's there for the shutdown. And then we got the pace and power. And the passing prowess to play out the back. However, we've ended up losing it. Uh, still, big interception. I do want to test the pace. Uh, the pace split isn't fantastic, so I would, wouldn't mind a little foot race of a double Traore to properly go up against him. The left stick's not insane, but the RB dribbling is pretty solid with the boy. And having the physicals to back it up, like players are just bouncing off him. With that in, Batcher, I want to get corners so we can get a chance to get a debut goal with Big Ranieri. Oh, it's going to be a goal, isn't it? It is. Hey, Zeus gets the goal. We can see it already. I'm putting that down to my defensive abilities there. I should have committed a little bit sooner. I gave him a chance to play that extra pass, and he's uh, he's taking it. So fair play, lad. Don't know what my keeper's doing there, but we end up 2-0 down. He's in space there. Ranieri coming across. Going to block in. That is unbelievable. Fantastic last-ditch tackle from the big boy, Luca. And we needed that because we are getting peppered here and he's on it again with an interception. Need to calm it down a little bit. Get a few chances to get a few goals back in this one because it could be a bit of a, an annihilation unless I butt my ideas up. I mean, a little bit lucky, but I'm not complaining. We need goals. We're back in this one. Oh, Ranieri on the edge. Don't mind if we do. Honestly, it wasn't a bad effort. Alisson makes the save, though. Definitely a green time needed. I don't think we've really got the shooting stats to be able to ping in ridiculous chances like that. Can we get it on the beautiful noggin of Luca Ranieri? That is the question. It's a deep whip in there. Oh, Lavia! I'll take that all day. I'll take it all day. We tie it up. Come on. Ranieri, composure from the big man at the back. Ansu. I will say it like I'm a big fan of having centre backs who can move on the ball. You know, it's not like essential, but it's nice if you're in a tricky situation. You've got to be bagging that one, surely. Foot race could be on. Oh, 
Oh, that is unbelievable defending from Luca. I thought I got spun, to be fair with you. Adama Chori is a tricky customer, but we would keep that composure. And that is a ridiculous block. Could have ended horrifically bad for us, but we come away on top. Potential counter-attack. Big Verge cleans up. Mate, this man has made some ridiculous last-ditch blocks and tackles in this gameplay so far. Another unbelievable one to add to the collection. Show-stopping moments, and we keep this game level. What a turn. Nkunku. At low, we're playing Weya. And we are going to play him. Come on, Timmy. Timmy's got legs. Williams Jr. In the middle! No way! How is the keeper saved that? Love that ball from Luca. Into Timmy. And Kunku. I think we're just on side. Hit that line. Beating for pace. Pull it back. Big block from Verge. I had to go for it. My eyes lit up. I wanted to get the green time in there. Uh, unfortunately, though, name will not be in lights for Luca. All right, game number two. I think in this one, we're going to move him into that CDM and left back position. Test him out there. But what a performance in the first game. We get the two-all draw. We clutch up some fantastic last-ditch tackles. The boy's physical. He's powerful. And he's a great defender. Let's see if he performs in other positions. Uh, already 1-0 down is not ideal. I didn't have a chance to even change the position. Oh, that's immense from the boy. He's a big left back. I'm not used to that. I'm normally using the smaller and more agile players there because uh, that's just my personal preference. But I think defensively, we're going to be so, so solid. And that interception leads us to a goal. Come on. That's huge. Damian, spread that play. You know where we're going. We're going to Ranieri. Little give and go here. Turn him. Nice. Forlan. Ranieri bombing forward. Little ball roll. Deserved a goal. Moving different, by the way. Like, if you want to get a little bit techy with it, you could do so with this card. That felt good on the ball. Finished, they let me down a little bit, unfortunately. Into Ranieri. Big touch here. We can stride. We can go. I'm looking at Ansu. Might just be offside. High line for my opponent, but the opportunity's there. Ooh, Salah, we'll see you later. Walker has the better of us so far, though. I feel like pure pace, the acceleration, the lack of it is definitely noticeable. Uh, once you get going and it's like a longer sprint, you can truly see the pace of Ranieri kicking the play here. Through balls on the cards. Are we offside again? This man is such a high line. Watch that ball over the top. On him, Ranieri. Kane gets absolutely decked. Love it. Little give a go here. Through ball. We're on side this time. Let's go. Precision, accuracy, and Sue now. Oh, we we'll draw the foul. Verge, you can't be doing that, lad. Oh, he's off. He's been sent off. Unbelievable. And he's quit a waddle. Fraud. So, Luca Ranieri, 93 rated centre back. 165k is the total price for this SBC. Evolution. So, you've got to snipe him off the market unless you've already got him untradeable. Um, is he worth it? Yeah, 100% worth 165,000 coins. If this SBC came out at this stage of the game, it would have to be a lot more than that. He is dominant, so physical and solid in a defensive style. He's a no-nonsense centre-back slash left-back. You could honestly play him as a CDM. I think the passing and the dribbling is definitely doable there. But in my opinion, definitely utilise the defensive side. So it has to be a CDM, a centre-back or a left-back for me. Don't have him as a box-to-box. -box. Going forward, we're a bit fraudulent with the lack of finishing. But what an evolution. I love incisive pass, especially more as that left-back. If you've got a left-winger overlapping, ping it down the line. He's going to get on the end of it. Ping passes there as well. Tick attacker and whip pass. And it's nice having a centre-back with those options for the little link-up play, the quick kind of get-out tricky situations and fantastic defending play styles. If you'd anticipate, I'll be dreaming. Uh, to be fair, as a centre-back, I would obviously rather like a jockey play style plus, but I'm still not complaining. Is he better than David Alaba's the question? I think David Alaba's probably more versatile. I think David Alaba's more suited as like a CDM. If you need a centre-back, it should be this man all day. He's better as a defender than David Alaba's evolution. Links, though, you've got to take into mind here. 
Alaba is going to be cheaper as well because he can use his gold common, gold rare now. So that's like minus 80k off the price tag. For that reason, Alaba's winning. However, yeah, I think Lynx might struggle with this, man. Unless you've got a Serie A setup or like an Italian Link. By the way, I used Ranieri with Ranieri. Surely that is bonus points all day. Uh, but let me know what you think down below. I can't really decide. I can't be decisive between the two of them. I think they're both fantastic in their own right. For me, Alaba is a W and so is Ranieri. Let me know what you decide to do down below. I'll be more to subscribe if you're new. Have a good 2024, by the way. Happy New Year. And I'll see you later.